You need to retrain your brain if you're gonna ride a tricycle. Stick around to hear what I'm talking about. Hey everyone, I'm Dustin. I have nearly 20 years experience in the bike and e-bike industry. And today I'm gonna to tell you about why you need to retrain your brain if you're gonna start riding a tricycle as an adult. But before I get into it, hit that subscribe button below, stay in touch with us here at 630, be the first to know about all the new content we're putting out, giveaways we do, and of course, new product releases. One other quick thing before I get into it, we at 630 really specialize in trikes and e-trikes. I have three of our models right here our Every Journey electric trike, our electric rickshaw trike, and our folding easy transit trike. Find these linked in the description below if you wanna check them out, or there'll be a link up in the top of the video here. All right, I've done hundreds of test rides with people, adults I should say, that are getting into trike riding that have never ridden a tricycle in their entire life, or maybe rode a tricycle when they were two, three, four years old and have zero memory or recollection of what they did, how they rode it, um, and the process and what went into actually steering and driving a tricycle. And what I witnessed firsthand with a lot of these adult riders, a lot of senior adult riders getting into trike riding, is when they get on the trike, their first inclination is to tell me something's wrong with the trike, right? It's not moving correctly, it's not steering correctly, um, it's just not maneuvering the way that they are anticipating it to maneuver. And Nine times out of 10, they want me to check the trike, check the handlebars, check the wheels to make sure it's not something with the trike. And like I said, I've done this now hundreds of times to know firsthand it's not the trike. Now, I do give it a once over just to make sure there's no loose bolts, anything like that. And nine times out of 10, uh, actually 99 times out of 100, there's nothing wrong with the trike. It's the rider his brain has been trained to ride a bicycle a certain way, and a tricycle is not a bicycle. Now, I should say a three-wheel bicycle is not a two-wheel bicycle, really, is what it is. And most people I encounter have been riding a two-wheel bicycle sometimes, you know, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 years. And so it becomes uh, unconscious, right? It's like breathing. We learn to breathe when we come out of the womb and all of a sudden it becomes an unconscious habit. Bike riding becomes very much the same thing, especially for someone that's been doing it for so long. When you get on, it's unconscious. We just do it. It happens. It's a behind the scenes process that our brain is making happen so we can stay up on two wheels and ride. Now, unfortunately, for any reason that you decide to switch to a three-wheel bike, you have to retrain your brain and allow yourself to be open to new information and new learning processes because a three-wheel bike is not a two-wheel bike. It is vastly different. And what they say typically with a two-wheel bike, a two-wheel bike is one with your body. You flow, you lean, you go. A trike, you have to steer. So uh, I believe they say maybe with a two-wheel bike, you lean. With a with a three-wheel bike, you steer. I see a lot of people that get on as an example, and you can see this is our electric rickshaw. It's a pretty beefy tricycle. Leaning like this, right, is not gonna make the bike move. On a two-wheel bike, it will, right? You lean and sort of just guide the handlebars, right? On a tricycle, you have to actually turn the handlebars, just like a car. Imagine if you saw somebody sitting in a car and they were trying to take a left turn, they go on a left green arrow and they start leaning their body to the left but the car goes straight. It's the same principle on a tricycle where you need to make, you need to turn the wheel the direction you wanna go. I've done test rides in this very parking lot right here where actually I've gotten first time riders on uh, electric trikes as an adult and they start to go this way and they wanna turn all of a sudden they're yelling to me it's not turning and before I know it they've crashed into one of these box trucks down here and they come back to me and they said I leaned and it didn't move I said yes it's a trike I told you you have to steer the other caveat with that is when you steer you have to realize you have three wheels so you can steer the handlebars on a trike at very extreme angles so if you want to turn you can turn your handlebars like this and the trike will stay balanced on a two-wheel bike, you can't turn your handlebars at 90 degrees and 
expect the bike to stay upright. There's a certain limitation to the angle you can take on handlebars on a two-wheel bike when you're turning and leaning. On a trike, you need to turn it like this if you want to make a U-turn, if you want to circle around. Otherwise, you're not going to cut a, you're not going to be able to cut the turns that you want to do. I see that a lot as well. The first time someone comes into a turn, they start to lean, they end up taking a very wide turn, and they're trying to lean to go, and the trike is not moving, right? So as a result, they end up going very, very wide, and at the last minute, they maybe turn the handlebars or don't turn the handlebars. So when you take a turn, you need to make sure you turn the wheel. And as quickly as you wanna take that turn, you'll need to steer the wheel. I see a lot of people, they don't feel that the two wheels are there to balance them. That's a, one of the parts of retraining your brain is to realize you have the two wheels in the rear, so the bike will balance itself. All you need to do is steer the wheel where you wanna go. Now, on a tricycle also, you wanna take turns a little slower. Two wheel bikes, you can really lean into it. Um, and you're able to move through turns at a much quicker pace. On a trike, especially if you're taking a very aggressive turn, you wanna make sure you go slow into the turn and then you can accelerate out of the turn. But the key to all of this is really accepting the fact that a tricycle is different. And I will be honest, if you're switching or getting onto a tricycle as a senior, as an adult, for the first time in your life after having ridden a regular bicycle for 30, 40, 50 years, it may take you some time to adjust to riding a tricycle. And if you don't get it on the first try, don't be discouraged. Get out, get into a parking lot, take your time, get familiar with it. I've done this now several times with people I followed up with over a few weeks. And I've also witnessed it firsthand on a daily basis or in, on, a, on a day with a ride we've done. Some riders, we did a 20 mile ride on trikes one time, half the riders picked it up no problem in the first few minutes. One rider, even by the end of the 20 mile ride, was still a little uneasy about it, uh, but I followed up with them later and they said they finally got it. And then a lot of times when we do the test rides here, again, every person moves at their own pace. The more ingrained the two-wheel bike process is in your mind, the more difficult it may be for you to adapt, adapt to the new steering philosophy of a trike. Or there may be no adoption period for you. You may just get onto it, you may understand, you steer and you go. So it really, really depends, but it's just important to come in with an open mind, focus on retraining your mind and telling yourself you have to steer a trike, you steer a trike, you, you lean a bike, basically. You have to steer a trike, steer a trike. That's really the most important thing. And leaning on a trike will not move the trike and will not steer the trike. <clears throat> so I hope that helps you understand that you need to retrain your mind when jumping into riding a trike as an adult or as a senior. If you have any other questions on the topic at all, please put them below in the comments section or reach out to us, the team at 630.com or call us 310-982-2877. And again, all three of these trikes are linked in the description below. Also, they'll be at the end of the screen here. You can click a link to check them out as well. And we also offer a 30-day test ride your e-bike policy. If you don't love it in 30 days, send it back. No questions asked, no money out of your pocket. That also applies to regular bikes and tricycles. And also, we're going to warranty everything on your bike, trike, or e-trike for a year. Anything goes wrong in the first year, we'll take care of it. No questions asked. Get you the parts and labor covered. Lastly, join our Facebook Peddlers group. We've got thousands of existing 630 members that you can connect with in advance of purchasing so you can ask them questions, get comfortable with your purchase. Then once you get your 630, post in the group, make friends, and we have an app that you can download, track your rides, it's, in the, it's the uh, 630 Peddlers app. Track your rides, compete on the leaderboard, it's a lot of fun. So thanks for sticking around and don't forget, it's your journey or experience, enjoy the ride.